Now to a special report from Kashmir. Headlines today's Maharoki Nair takes you to a posh home in Rajbagh which has seen extreme devastation. The ground floor of the beautiful house has been completely destroyed. It might take months, even years to restore it to its former glory. I'm inside one of the homes in Rajbagh which was hit by the ravaging waters of the Jhelum and this house which is close to about 100 years old uh, was one of the houses that was looked at in Rajbagh uh, for its beauty uh, for the fact that there was a, a guest house on the upper floor and all that is left now is just water plastering on the wall has gone all the chandelier is completely inundated with the uh, mud and even as i'm walking up these stairs there is mud on the on the staircase here as, and as i manage to come up you can see how uh, the water has uh, still not reached the second level thankfully uh, it had come up till here if you can see on the walls there's a water mark here so the water was still here and if i touch the wall it is still very wet which clearly shows that the water had come till here and then as the water levels have gone down furniture whatever was inside completely gone while the family is resilient saying that at least lives were saved but the kind of destruction that you see in this house uh, is really heart wrenching and this is the story of most of the houses here in rajbagh just to give you a sense of the amount of water that has come inside and clearly devastated the home if you see out if you look out from here this used to be their lawn which is completely inundated with water and this is the story of every home in rajbagh and the other areas which were completely submerged and as you walk along um, you would get a sense of how the home used to look uh, when you see one of the rooms here which was uh, which was being used earlier Uh, this is how most of the rooms used to look on the ground floor as well from where we've just come and while the fir uh, the first floor has been saved the stark difference between what is on the ground floor and what is left here or what has survived the waters of the jhelum is uh, something that even words can't describe i in fact am at a loss of words right now because it will take days months for them to even retrieve the kind of losses that they have faced thankfully everyone in the family is fine but the way uh, the waters and the destruction they have left in its wake is something and the loss the trauma of what they have gone through is something that the members of this family will take a very long time not just them but everybody else who lives in srinagar city is going to take a really long time to overcome with camera person prashant in rajbagh this is maharuk inayat for headlines today An omission that proved to be disastrous for Jammu and Kashmir the Central Water Commission or the CWC is responsible for forecasting floods and issuing advisory to states has no flood forecast for Jammu and Kashmir days after washing its hands off its role in raising an alarm CWC backtracked Pankaj Upadhyaya with this report It's been described as the worst floods of the century lives lost people displaced the face of paradise on earth turned into one of despair but could jammu and kashmir be better prepared to fight floods perhaps yes headlines today has found that the central water commission the agency responsible for forecasting floods and issuing advisory to states had no flood forecast for jammu and kashmir the reason for the absence of a flood control situation in Jammu and Kashmir is unclear the issue is that the there was a mechanism of providing data to the government of Jammu and Kashmir our people were observing the data till the 5th of September night and the data whatever was required was being passed on to the government of Jammu and Kashmir time and again and uh, as far as the forecasting is concerned the protocol was not set up between the jammu and kashmir government and uh, and the central water commission uh, but this protocol was not set up in the view of the fact that uh, the generally the jhelum river does not really experience such high floods uh, we are also in the process of uh, 
improving our observation network. In fact, uh, during the 12th plan, uh, we are also planning to put in 800 more sites. In fact, we already have about 850 sites in operation across the country. Uh, we are going to increase the sites in the in the hilly regions and in the more difficult regions and we are going to have almost uh, we are trying to develop our network even though we are having a target of going still further than that so that the observation network is is not found wanting many hope that the tragedy would be a valuable lesson to the state and government funded institutions that tackle such disasters regrettably no lessons learned with pankaj upadhyay in delhi bureau report headlines today a look at the devastation caused by the flood in Jammu and Kashmir in the last six days. The entire valley is inundated. Google images show us the extent of the damage done. There is a reason why this is being called as the biggest deluge, the biggest floods that the valley has seen in six decades. A quick look. Six days back, these were the images caught on the Google satellite. This is the valley. You can see complete patches of green. I'd like to just zoom out uh, at this point of time. Complete patches of green green there arterial roads completely clean that's the airport road uh, you go down to the eastern embankment which right now is completely flooded you can see complete green patches there uh, go a little up the western embankment completely clean this is where the chief minister's residence is this is where the Raj Bhavan is uh, uh, go a little to the left the dull lake completely clean now the reason why we are saying this is because even right now uh, Rescue operations on at a war footing, the flood waters are receding, uh, there has been no rain that uh, has happened fortunately for the last three days, but the entire valley still flooded. And I'd like to just contrast this image that you can see with this. And all you can see, and that's where the contrast comes in, those patches of green completely eaten up by this vast expanse of a water body. This is how the Jhelum has completely inundated the valley. The arterial roads, right there, that's the airport road. Well, that is completely inundated. You can see, I'm going to just close in. That's what you can see. Completely inundated with water. The eastern embankments, you can see these mass housing all over here, completely uh, underwater. A little to the left and that is the dull lake and you really can't make out where the waters end and where the dull lake starts completely submerged uh, interestingly even at this point of time the western embankment has been spared and that is where the chief minister's residence is yeah around that part is where the chief minister's residence is uh, the Raj Bhavan as well completely spared so you can see at the western bank still completely clean but as you move along the eastern side this is what you see a massive expanse of water which is not receding and just once again to take you back to put out the contrast this is what the valley looked like earlier the eastern embankments and this is what it looks as we speak that's all we have for you in this bulletin, but news and updates will continue on headlines today. Thank you for watching.